Good morning. Thank you all for coming. Uh, we've been building up to this for quite a while. If you look behind me, you'll see some land clearance going on. Uh, that's not by accident. For years, many of us have been saying, when are we going to get a Costco in the Northland? Well, that day has come. By this time next year, Costco is going to be right over there. This is a true game changer for the Northland. We've wanted this for a long time. Uh, today, a rezoning application is going to get filed by MD Management. They are the developer to change this from agricultural to master plan development to spur the growth of Costco in this area. We promised our residents that we would have infrastructure improvements so that we would spur development in this area. We began that with a $45 million improvement in our sewer system for the um, uh, Twin Creeks watershed. We are at the southeast corner of the Twin Creeks watershed where we stand now. This is part of that promise. This is that promise being fulfilled. In doing this, we've had many partners who have been very supportive of this. First of all, MD Management. I want to especially thank them not only for this, but also for their continued commitment to building in Kansas City. With us today is Clay County Commissioner Jerry Nolte, my colleague and partner and friend, um, Teresa Lohr, who is going to uh, bring you the second part of this because it just gets better. Uh, Trish Jensen is here from the White Goss Law Firm and Dr. Mike Reich, who is part of that second announcement. Also, Alicia Stevens from uh, Clay County EDC, Mike Duffy from City, City of Riverside, and Mark Van Lowe from the uh, Airport Authority. Thank you all for coming, and Teresa, I'm going to turn this over to you. Thanks, Dan. What an exciting day it is here in the Northland. Um, I've been a Northland resident all my life, so uh, having um, something like this uh, come in is a great is a great uh, great thing. Um, Costco is going to be uh, a wonderful uh, economic growth piece for us here in the Northland, but um, I have something more to talk about. Not only do we get a, a, a beautiful new store, uh, MD Management is uh, providing land right across the street, 80 acres in fact, to the park uh, to the uh, Platte County R3 School District, where we're where they're 80 acres, so they're going to be able to build two schools, including a new high school. So this will um, add to the continued growth of the Northland um, and also develop some of the infrastructure uh, a little further north of 152. So we're very excited about that. And to expand on that, I'm going to introduce uh, Dr. Mike Wright. Thank you, Councilwoman Lohr. <clears throat> Good morning. It's uh, a great day here in Platte County, uh, Clay County, the Northland. Uh, we all benefit here uh, in the Northland with this new new exciting development. Uh, in Platte County School District in particular, the future is very bright. Currently, we're working on a $29 million project, and, and some of that project is happening just uh, within uh, eye shot of here. Uh, $29 million project, that, that project was in direct response to our rapid enrollment growth, and I'm happy to say that uh, as of today, that project is uh, on time and under budget. And as we look to the future, uh, a development like this uh, is, is a significant development as it, uh, as it will, will help us look to the future. Uh, on the horizon, we have continued and projected enrollment growth. Um, this will help us defray capital costs in the future by uh, a growing tax base, a stronger tax base, uh, as, uh, as well as the, uh, the significant donation of land. And, uh, and so that will help us uh, move into the future uh, with, uh, with grace. The gifted site will be developed, uh, as Councilwoman Lawyer said, over time into an efficient two-school complex. We intend on creating a site master plan that will consist of most likely a middle school around 2020 and an eventual future high school, uh, our second high school in the school district. I would like to conclude my remarks by thanking our, our community partners, our leaders in our community uh, for partnering with the school district. And, uh, and I, I have to say that um, in my experience uh, in leading Platte County School District, we're always side by side with our community leaders and, and, uh, and I think that's why th good things like this happen in, in, in the Northland. So uh, thank you community leaders. Also uh, want to thank MD Management for, uh, for the land gift. Um, 
I always joke, I, I've always heard about developers that, uh, that give land to school districts, but I'd never actually had it happen to me, uh, to Platte County Schools and our children, but uh, in fact it has happened and, uh, and we couldn't be more grateful for that. And so with that, it would be my pleasure to introduce our next speaker, uh, Clay County Presiding Commissioner, Jerry Nolte. Thank you very much. Um, if you were to ask Northlanders or Clay County citizens, what do you want in the Northland? M many of them would say, hands down, we want a Costco. Uh, I want to thank uh, Council Members Lohr and Fowler. Uh, wow, talk about hitting the ground running, guys. Uh, this is a wonderful day for, for Clay County in the Northland. Obviously, MD, part, uh, MD management is, uh, is somebody that's wonderful to work with, and we are very happy to have them here in the county. Um, we're looking forward to just a continued success and continued economic development. I think it just underscores the fact that the Northland is one of the fastest growing areas in this, in this state and in this uh, region, certainly, and that we're happy to have this great addition to our, uh, our array of, of businesses here in this, in this county. Uh, with that, I'll turn it back over to my friend Dan Fowler, and he'll uh, take it from there. Thank you very much. Thanks, Jerry. Thank you all very much. Uh, I want to give recognition to State Representative Noel Scholl, who just showed up. He's uh, back there in the back. So. But thank you all for coming. Uh, if there are any questions, we'd be happy to try to answer them. What's the time table for the Costco again? The uh, ideal opening date is November 1. However, if they miss that date, that's a very aggressive construction schedule. Uh, then they will open probably in April of 2017. We're doing, Teresa and I are doing everything we can to, to spur things along so they can be opened uh, on November 1. And just looking at the site, where would Costco would be? Right here where they're clearing the land. It's about an 18 acre site that's uh, generally right in this area. And then the Platte County stuff would be to this side? Uh, Platte County's over that way. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. It's Caddy Corner. Yeah. Guys, it's Caddy Corner across that way on the other side of the way. Okay. You're, you're right on the Platte County, Platte County line. This side is Platte County. Line. Yeah. Will Costco be standalone? Yes. For right now, the, we're hoping that that will spur other development on the four corners of this intersection and also right over in that area as well, just to the uh, east of us. For right now, yes, it will be standalone. Costco is an outstanding company. I just saw in the news this morning uh, they have announced um, uh, an across-the-board raise for their their uh, lowest plate workers. Their minimum wage for anybody is $12 an hour, which is absolutely outstanding. Uh, they've told us that after five years, their average employee in a store makes about $50,000. Uh, they offer benefits to all of their employees. 95% of their employees take those benefits. And their turnover ratio is about 6%, which in retail is absolutely, it's amazing. It's amazing. Retail typically is much, much higher than that. Can you talk just one more time about uh, the Twin Freaks and how that is spurring this development? Like what's sure. Uh, the question is uh, to talk about Twin Creeks and, and how that's spurring the development here. Twin Creeks, we're, as I said, we're on the very southeast corner of the Twin Creeks watershed. There's generally 15,000 acres to our um, north and west. In order to get Twin Creeks to grow, the city had to invest about $45 million to get sewers up there. Uh, that's been done. Those sewers are in place. So now development is beginning. We believe that the idea of that being developed up there with the potential of 75 to 100,000 new residents over the next 10, 20, or 30 years is one of the reasons why Costco chose this site because it puts them at the heart of um, uh, an amazing amount of residential development. So that has been, that's one of the primary reasons why they've chosen to move into this area. The demographics have now gotten to the point where they believe that they can build a, a profitable store. Thank you. 